Welcome to my channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that's being served for you on today. This is a general angel number message. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting on this meal on today, don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke on the bones. To my subscribers, thank you for your love and support by way of likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. Anything related to me that um, you want, personal reads, donations, um, oracle cards, that information is in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this message out. And let's get to the message. So we have 16. This card is about having a firm foundation in your life's desires. Build on those desires and see your life soar to great heights of prosperity. This card is about a fresh start. We've been getting that a lot. Life changes, sudden life changes, strength and major changes happening. We have 99 here. So we do have your angels are getting you back on track if you've gone off track and realize your higher life purpose. So you need to discover your higher life purpose. This card is about compassion, toler tolerance, and humani humanitarianism. So this could be you being better to yourself, like you're better, like you're good with other people, giving to yourself, being... Um, compassionate to yourself all right and we have 77 you are in direct alignment with your soul's higher purpose you are receiving spiritual guidance directly from the archangels and the holy spirit this is a card of hope love courage and encouragement so this message is meant to encourage you no matter where you find yourself all right and we're just going to get some tarot just to get a few more items and go deeper into this. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the intuitive community? Hmm. So we have this card of the Four of Pentacles. Uh, someone is holding on to you, um, or you could be fearing a loss of something, uh, seeking security. Maybe you... Um, have exhorted your savings. You could be guarded in certain areas of your life. We have the Ace of Swords. So this is the truth. Someone is feeling um, possessive over their heart. A little guarded when it comes to, uh, could be matters of the heart, job, material possessions. Um, this is also about hoarding. Someone could be um, keeping things from you, being greedy. Um, you need some balance in your life with the temperance card. All right. The Ace of Swords is also about new beginnings, having mental clarity, having a new idea. All right. It is also a card of victory. Okay. So you can overcome whatever limitations that are uh, in your life right now. All right. This, whatever it is you're going through is going to cause for you to have some strength while you're doing it. Um, maybe your foundation was shaken for some of you, okay? But you are on the brink of prosperity. You just need to get back on track to discover your life purpose, okay? We have the Ten of Swords that fell on the Four of Pentacles upside down. So this isn't a situation where you are um, under attack. Um, this isn't a situation where you are hitting rock bottom. You're just going through a tough time right now. We also have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So this is, um, is meaning that your success will not be delayed any longer. Okay. Your 
vision is going to be cleared up. You're going to be able to celebrate in this situation. Um, but just be careful of any temptations, restrictions, distractions, people trying to manipulate you. Um, if you have any addictions, you may want to get some help from that. Wow. As far as the jumping out. Hmm. The temptations that you're going through, because we're in a spiritual world, everything is spiritual, um, could be regarding your beliefs. Maybe your beliefs are changing. Uh, maybe you are not following the status quo. Or how you've been moved is causing you to not follow the status quo. Um, hmm. You may be going to a spiritual advisor. Um, I know you look at these readings, so you're looking for answers with this for what you're, uh, where you're going. Hmm. This is going against your tradition, whoever it is I'm speaking to. Hmm. But you are someone who's action oriented. So you're taking action in whatever area that you're supposed to be um, going into. You are a natural leader. So you're going to have people that are following you at this time. Um, you are innovative. You are bold or boldness is going to be coming your way. Anything else will be spirit. Hmm. Seven seven is you are in direct alignment with your higher your soul's higher purpose. So that definitely you are um receiving guidance from the Holy Spirit, not archangels. You're moving out of what you some of you were raised as because there's a situation when it comes to morality. Um you could be getting fought because you have moved into this new area meaning that um your family may not understand the turn you took um friends uh may not understand why you have changed and going in the path that you're going um this could be you seeing through past what's in the 3d um because when you look at things in the 3D, sometimes things are painted in a new direction, you a different direction, and you could be um, seeing things in a different way. For some of you, you can be a seer or a prophet, and what is being said to the masses, you may hear something different coming from the Most High. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, because we have that separation here with the Three of Swords, okay? Um, this could cause you a lot of heartache. People could be saying that you're disillusioned, that um, you're falling for something. They might call you conspiracy theorists. This is causing you to be separated from people, and it may cause you a little bit of sorrow and sadness. Anything else, Holy Spirit? But a support system is coming in for you. You may be finding your soul tribe. You're learning more about um, what has been presented to you. It could be through, um, you know, different books, the Bible, um, some other spiritual texts. But it shows that you are committed to this. Mm, we have the King of Swords. I feel like with this card, the people around you feels like someone is manipulating you. What I would say is definitely you are on the right path, but also use your intuition to who may be around you. Because there are going to be people that are there that are generally there for you and want to help. But then there's going to be somebody who may be um, trying to manipulate you in this situation. And unfortunately, you have to deal with that in all areas. Even when you're trying to grow spiritually, there are people who um, will try to deceive you. 
And so we have the Seven of Swords here. Um, definitely there's someone who is trying to steal from you that's scheming um, behind your back. So definitely use your intuition. All right. I do feel like for many of you, you are going to step out on faith with the Fool card. You're going to take this risk and you're going by blind faith. But make sure your blind faith is with the Most High. It is not with a person. With the Knight of Wands, I see someone with a charming spirit, someone who's rebellious, um, someone who doesn't listen to anyone. And I think that this is the person with the lies and stuff. This person who seems like a free spirit, but they're inconsistent. They're in and out, okay, um, of the situation. So just really be cautious in this time. We have the Six of Pentacles. You are going to have some people that are giving to you at this time. Um, someone who will help you develop your gifts. Somebody who will be a support. All right. You are going to achieve and there are going to be some um, monetary resources provided to you. Okay. Um, but just be careful because this person that's in and out is showing up as somebody who... Um, is looking for material security. So if you have somebody that maybe wants to live with you right now and everything like that, definitely seek the most high. Don't just go off of emotion or um, past history or blood history. Make sure that you are seeking the most high. Because if not, this person is going to cause some conflicts with the five of wands. Um, there's going to be an ego clash. Um you will be surprised that even people that walk with you may be jealous of certain gifts that you have. And this person is going to end up being in competition with you. All right. And so we have here the nine of swords. All right. Um, just be careful or you will end up disappointed. All right. There is someone who... Um, is doing some things against you that is going to get karma for what they are doing to you. All right. We're going to wrap this message up because it is cut and dry. Um, I can't even say I wish it was a better message because I like warnings because when you get warnings, you can um, be prepared for whatever comes. Um, okay, something I got when I looked at the strength card, someone may be even trying to silence you in this time. If you have a platform, you might have people that are coming against your platform, trying to silence you, trying to discourage you. Uh, you can have trolls coming to your page, um, trying to discourage you and people that follow you. All right. Holy Spirit. What final messages do we have? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out. Hmm. So there might have been somebody that you were in a relationship with that found out the grass was not green. Now, this could be a friendship. Um, this could be um, a romantic situation or a family situation. Um, for some of you, this relationship may deserve a second chance. But definitely use your discernment. For some of you, um, the issue you had with maybe family or friends is that you're letting someone back into your energy that they did not like. But there is going to be a victorious outcome. Your difficult situations are going to result in your victory. So stay the course that you're on. All right. This could be someone in your family that does not like um, this new person or the new person you're transforming into take it as it resonates. And this person likes to kick you when you are down. So, uh, you may have experienced some hard times, um, after taking the way that you have taken or, um, on your, you know, um, you could be in the beginning, you could be in the middle of your process, 
but this person because you seem down they're kicking you like you down like i told you you shouldn't have went that way um you could be a water sign or this person could be a water sign all right um, for many of you, you could be educated and intelligent. This is book knowledge or street knowledge or both. Okay. But know that the Holy Spirit is about to restore your soul. Um, he leads you on the right paths for his glory. All right. Psalms 23 and 3. Anything else? Holy Spirit. Hmm. All right. So there is comfort coming to you. Uh, Psalms 34 and 18 says the most high is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are of a crushed spirit. Uh, things could be clearing up for you around January or you could be um, a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. Well, a Cap I'm sorry, a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Um, we have provision. All right, so provision is going to be made. Um, as I stated before, some of you are going to get monetary resources to do what needs to be done when it comes to this um, new endeavor and life purpose. Okay, you could be um, in a spiritual business or practice or you're going further in the spiritual walk that you um, have, okay? Okay. Um, so for some of you don't have a online place or a spiritual business, you might just be talking to people um, in your daily uh, walk and routine, okay? And you never know how you are reaching people. Just watch out for the manipulative fast talker. They keep coming out. This person is trying to play with words. Uh, maybe even try to prostitute your gift, which means use your gift for what they want. My meanwhile talking you down so you don't really realize how great you are sapping you dry okay you have someone in your energy that wants forgiveness like I said somebody is coming back for some of you this could be a faded connection all right this faded connection could have the first last middle initial of E F G or H all right so that is the message that I have for you on today thank you for joining me for this angel numbers message and I will see you hopefully at the table again next time. Bye-bye.